Hello everyone, and welcome back to Financial Futures. Today, we're diving into a topic that many of you have been asking about the $1,400 fourth stimulus check for 2024. I receive questions about this every single day from our community members, and I want to provide you with the latest updates and details. So, let's get right into it. The $1,400 stimulus check has been a hot topic, especially for fixed-income beneficiaries. With inflation eroding the purchasing power of their benefits, many are hoping for additional financial relief. Lawmakers have been considering various proposals to raise benefits, but progress has been slow. As a result, many are looking to a one-off stimulus check as a potential solution. Lawmakers are dragging their feet on raising benefits, which has left many beneficiaries struggling financially. The $1,400 stimulus check would provide much-needed relief to those facing financial hardship. Stimulus checks are closely tied to the health of the economy. Job creation and unemployment rates are key factors that determine the need for additional stimulus. Despite recent increases in unemployment, job creation has remained strong. This has led to concerns about inflation and the Federal Reserve's response, including the possibility of raising interest rates. As of now, no stimulus check has been approved. The situation continues to evolve, and it's important to keep a close eye on economic indicators to gauge the likelihood of future stimulus. While there are no guarantees, history has shown that economic conditions can change rapidly, leading to swift government action. In conclusion, the $1,400 fourth stimulus check for 2024 remains uncertain. The economic landscape and government responses will play a crucial role in determining the need for additional stimulus. As always, I'll keep you updated on any developments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest news and updates. Today, we've got some important updates regarding social security payments and a new bill proposed by John Larson that could increase benefits by up to $500 per month. Let's dive right in. Tomorrow, certain beneficiaries of Social Security will receive their monthly payments. These payments will average around $2,000 for individuals and $3,000 for couples, with the maximum payment reaching close to $5,000. According to Newsweek, some recipients are set to receive payments of up to $4,875 this week. These payments are crucial for retired individuals, qualifying disabled individuals, and survivors of deceased claimants. John Larson has proposed a bill that could significantly increase Social Security benefits for many recipients. The bill has garnered support from many Democrats and reportedly has some Republican support behind closed doors. The bill includes a 2% across-the-board increase for all recipients and ensures that no one receiving Social Security gets a below-poverty-level check from the government. It also repeals the provision that taxes Social Security benefits, providing a tax break to 23 million Americans. In an interview, John Larson explains that the bill aims to provide a floor for Social Security benefits at 125% of the poverty level, ensuring that no one receives a below-poverty level check. The bill also repeals the Windfall Elimination Provision, WP, which currently affects teachers, firefighters, police, and other municipal workers. Larson mentions that while there is some Republican support for the bill, it has not been publicly acknowledged yet. He remains optimistic about the bill's chances, citing its potential economic benefits and the direct impact it would have on constituents. In conclusion, Social Security payments are going out tomorrow, providing much-needed financial support to millions of Americans. John Larson's bill offers hope for increased benefits and tax breaks for Social Security recipients but its passage remains uncertain. 
Stay tuned for more updates on this bill and other developments related to Social Security. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel for more updates, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.